birthday. Happy birthday. GoPro when he was out of battery and trying to charge it, we left, we forgot, we went straight to Front Street afterwards, so didn't have enough footage from uh, pretty much anything after the beach yesterday. Uh, but right now it's uh, day four. I think it is Friday, uh, Saturday, day four, March 11th, my daughter's birthday. Uh, woke up this morning some mac and cheese and bacon per her request and now me and a couple of the boys walking over getting some breakfast at this spot right here Let's see how it goes hopefully something good Here. Paco, cheeky mug. Said you wanted one yesterday. No bam, way. bam. Choo, choo, choo. We're out here at the Whalers Village Shopping Center. We all schmopped here on the the, the fucking Harley. <laughs> that one goes. Yeah. He almost died trying to take pictures. <laughs> Fuck that Camaro, dog. You saw that yeah, fucking stupid ass Camaro? Out, yeah. Fucking dumb bitch.
13th is the date we are back home now um, GoPro ran out of memory while we were out there uh, didn't get to record the last bit of our trip which was uh, we went back to the, another beach uh, did some more snorkeling the waves were a lot calmer um, wasn't as aggressive as the first beach we went to um, it was a little more shallow so you can go out a bit further um, and see a lot more fishes and everything that that beach had to offer, which was great. Um, I think everybody had a good time. Uh, after that, you know, came home, came back to the condo. Uh, we tried to get to Cabana uh, for my daughter's birthday. Unfortunately, someone had beat us out there. That's the first come first serve. So, you know, we took took the loss. Came back to the condo. I think we got some uh, round table pizza, some hot wings, and uh, we just stayed at the condo, got everybody over there, and, you know, we did cake and everything. Uh, once everybody went back to the room, uh, started cleaning up, packing, we had an early flight back home, uh, we had to be at the airport uh, pretty early, you know, our flight was out at 11, uh, so... You know, we still have to return some of the scuba, the snorkeling gear, uh, and return a car, and go through TSA, all that fun stuff. Um, so I mean, that process was actually not too bad. Uh, we got home pretty quick. It was a short flight. It was like only four and a half hours, if I believe it was. Uh, so we got back pretty quick, and you know, uh, once we touched the ground. Uh, came home real quick and then uh, went over to my mom's house to pay my respects to my grandma uh, who had uh, passed away while we were out there in Hawaii. You know, uh, it really sucked. You know, all of her grandkids were out in Hawaii and uh, she uh, took her last few breaths there. Uh, you know, we knew we got the phone call the second day we were there that she wasn't doing good and was put on uh, life support and uh, the next day while we were picking up our scooters we got the call that uh, she was taken off and uh, she passed away shortly after that and um, you know really brought brought us down you know but we there was nothing we could do we were already out there yeah, and 
try to make the best of it. We're all back now, and we all went, paid our respects. Um, you know, shaved my head for for her, and uh, you know, we just got to deal with everything that's following up with um, the viewing, a lot of uh, temples and prayers that's gonna happen in the upcoming weeks. And I believe the viewing and cremation is going to happen towards the end of the month, early in the, leading into April. Uh, it's going to suck, but, you know, she she lived a long, eventful uh, life. You know, she was blessed with a lot of grandchildren and even great-grandchildren, you know, my three daughters and... Um, a lot of just, you know, she, she had a lot of people in her life that loved her, and, uh, she was the best, you know, she, uh, always made sure that, you know, we ate, we made sure that, you know, we had, she, she just made sure that we were healthy. She took care of us. Mm. No, she's uh, gone. But, you know, she wouldn't want us to dwell over it. She would want us to be happy. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to continue on with our life and just be happy for her, you know. And uh, just be the, pe be the people that she wanted us to be. She's in a better place now. She's no longer suffering, and that's that's what counts. So, we love you, Grandma. All of us.